Cancer. What's up, Cancer? It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your January 1st to the 15th love reading. Happy New Year, Cancer. I love you guys. I just want to say Happy New Year's. I hope you guys have a beautiful 2019. So let's hop into your reading, Cancer. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. January 1st through the 15th. Now, this is general. This will be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. If it does not resonate, do check your moon and rising signs. All right, Cancer. So let's see what's coming in for you guys in love. January 1st to the 15th. If you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, you guys can do so on my website, fireintuition.com. So let's hop into this reading, Cancer, and see what's coming in for you guys. Oh, yeah. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Alrighty, messages for cancer, eight of swords flipped over. You guys are stressed out or worried about something, maybe in your head. Could be an air sign that you're worried about. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Did any other cards flip over? Yeah, a few cards flipped over. Yeah, but I'm not going to take all of these cancer. Sorry, I love you guys, and I'm not taking all those. You guys are stressed out about a love situation from what I'm seeing. Something that's moving slow or not moving at all. Okay. But let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Messages for Cancer. King of Wands. Could be with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be definitely with a Sagittarius. We do have the Knight of Wands, King of Wands, the Knight of Cups. This is you wanting someone to return, wanting some type of reconciliation. Um, for some of you guys, you're leaving one situation and going into another. Okay? So let's see what we got, Cancer. All right. So where's Cancer at right now? All right, Cancer. Where you're at right now, the Lover's Card. Okay, could be dealing with a Gemini. But if not, this is you in love. Okay, our love is on your mind. This is you needing to make a choice, a decision. What's crossing you, the high priestess. So needed to use your intuition with something or about this situation. Maybe it's a challenge. You don't know what to do. Okay, maybe a secret came out about some type of love triangle, some type of love affair. Could be, doesn't have to be. Um, but let me pull your cards out and then we'll go over the cards, all right? So what's on your mind? We have the world card. Three major arcana. In the past, we have the Ace of Cups. Could have been dealing with another water sign. In the present, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, a lot of major arcana. So one of the things that's turning in your favor. Looks like you guys are coming out of some type of old cycle and going to something and going into something new. In the near future, justice. More major arcana. Could be a Libra. How you see yourself? The Tower, Scorpio. You guys have a lot of major arcana, Cancer. Okay? Um, in your environment, Page of Pentacles. In your hopes and fears, the Seven of Cups. And for the potential outcome, we have the Emperor, Aries. So you guys have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven major arcanas out of ten cards. Wow. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. So this is you either coming together with someone, wanting to come together with someone, or this is you guys wanting to leave a situation after trying to come together with someone, okay? This is you more at peace. For some of you guys, you left a situation that was toxic, that was negative. We do have the Wheel of Fortune here with Justice, okay? Under that, we do have the Hermit. Could have been a Virgo that you moved away from. If not, the Hermit is you guys just, you know, like taking time away from people, isolating yourself, really going within, Okay, so, um, and we had that with the Six of Swords, and that's your energy, King of Cups, male or female, doesn't matter. Like I said, some of you guys are dealing with another water sign. All right, Cancer. So, let's go over these cards here. Give me one second, let me see. Yeah, so I'm seeing that you guys are kind of like, not torn, but wanting justice are... Either wanting justice in a love situation or trying to bring balance back into a love situation. There could have been some type of divorce or separation. For some of you guys, you guys made the wrong decision or someone's made the wrong decision because we have the high priestess on the lover's card. So someone's, you know, like thinking back like, dang, I should have followed my intuition. I should have thought, you know, about that situation before making that move or doing this or doing that. Like someone's kind of like in their head, that's the challenge. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Oh 
Yeah, that's what I'm getting. So let's go over your cards, Cancer. Alrighty, so starting out, we have the Lover's card. Again, this is Gemini energy, doesn't have to be. But the Lover's card is all about making a decision. This is a choice decision with the Lover's card here. The Lover's card is a, a divine union, a relationship. Someone that makes you feel whole, makes you feel happy. Someone that you are in alignment with. And I feel like there could have been a separation, like I said, a divorce. Maybe someone felt pressured in a relationship. With the Lover's card, maybe someone was trying to be in control over a situation. We do have the High Priestess crossing you, so it could be Pisces energy. Um, with the High Priestess crossing you and being the challenge, I do, like I said, I feel like someone just wasn't using their intuition. I did see you guys as being very silent, not taking any action, like just being silent, not making any moves or anything, like kind of moving in silence, not really doing much with this High Priestess here. But it's a challenge because I feel like you want to move forward or you want to do something in this relationship, but just really trying to go within and use your intuition, Okay. We do have the world card for what's on your mind. So the world can be, um, that's fixed energy. So Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, maybe one of those signs are on your mind. Okay? If not, then the world card, like I said, it's, it's about new cycles. So opening new doors, closing old doors, opening up new doors, going into a new cycle. So wanting to put it into old things, old cycles, wanting something new. For some of you guys, this is all about traveling, relocating. Just wanting change, ready for change with the world card. For some of you guys, what's on your mind with the world card, I feel like some news could have came in. Something could have came in that's going to change your life or that's going to just change the way you think or how you view things or how you see things with this world card. Okay, because we have the Wheel of Fortune up there too. In the recent past, we have the um, Ace of Cups. So a lot of love, a lot of love. This can be a new relationship you guys went into. Maybe you guys wanted a new relationship with someone from your past. This can be a love offer that came in. This can be you guys just happy about something. For others of you just looking at the spread, I feel like with this Ace of Cups here, this was somebody blocking you out emotionally or you needed to block people or um, someone out emotionally to focus on moving forward or just trying to find balance or trying to get justice in your life or trying to figure things out in your life because we do have the Wheel of Fortune and this is in the present position. So I feel like, you know, you're ready for things to move forward. You know, you're ready for things to be different. This is like a turning point with the Wheel of Fortune. So this is like luck, abundance, like happiness, like a lot of things coming in. I feel like that's what you're focused on. New beginnings. Okay. And then your future, we do have justice. So Libra. So with justice being here, I definitely feel like there's going to be justice in a situation. Something you thought was unfair or something that you thought wasn't going to come back together. If this was like a cycle that you ended. Um, I feel like there can be a new cycle between you guys, but with more balance, or this is you trying to find balance, or what balance in a relationship or a situation with someone, with justice being there. Um, now, how you see yourself, we have the tower. So, out with the old, in with the new kind of, I'm feeling, because the tower is about a new foundation. You know, laying down a new foundation, like something new, trying to rebuild yourself. I feel like right now, you guys are kind of like purging, letting out um, old feelings, emotions. You know, releasing the negative energy, releasing things um, that are negative or emotional around you. Some, some of you guys are fearing change or you, you're like holding back this tower moment, but I feel like it's going to come regardless. Because in your environment, we have the page of pentacles. This is an offer coming in. This can be work. This can be love, but this is an offer coming in. So I feel like it's like you need to release the old in order for something new to come in. And then we have this page of pentacles, some type of offer. But this will be something that you're starting over, something that you're building with the Page of Pentacles. Something that you have to be, um, or not that you have to be, but this is something that you're you're loyal to, something that you're faithful to, something that you worked hard on. Or this is how you're going to go in that situation. And your hopes and fears, we have the Seven of Cups. So this is like some type of confusion, wishful thinking. You know, in some type of fantasy world, I feel like with the Seven of Cups, you guys are focused on what you want, but maybe there's a lot of things that you want right now, and I feel like the High Priestess is a, um, is a challenge because you're hoping that you're making the right decision about certain things that you want in your life or people that you want in your life, okay? And then for the outcome, we do have the Emperor. So the Emperor is like taking back control. The Emperor can also be a commitment, marriage, long-term, okay? Someone finally ready to settle down. Are you finally making a decision? And allowing that person back into your life for some of you. Okay? So let's go ahead and clarify the cards. It can definitely change the reading. Alright, Cancer. So let's see what we got. 
All right, Cancer. So let's go ahead and clarify this spread. It can definitely turn things around. So let's see what's coming in for Cancer. January 1st to the 15th in love. Let's see. Spirit of the Universe messages for the sign of Cancer in love. January 1st to the 15th. Why is this lover's card here for the sign of Cancer in love? January 1st through the 15th. Why is the lover's card here for Cancer in love? January 1st through the 15th. Clear by the lover's card, please. The Queen of Wands in reverse. So some of you guys could have been in a love triangle. A third party situation. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay? The lover's card is here. Could have been with an Aries Leo Sagittarius that you guys were in some type of love triangle with or third party situation with. And a Gemini could have been involved as well. Doesn't have to be. Okay? Um, let's go ahead and clarify this Queen of Wands in reverse. Clarify the Queen of Wands in reverse. Why is this Queen of Wands here in reverse? The King of Cups. And that's your energy, Cancer. So I feel like um, you guys are really in love with this person. This um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Are there some strong feelings there? Okay? And some of you guys could have been committed. Could be male or female. And the challenge is the High Priestess using your intuition on this situation. I feel like you're trying to figure out what you're going to do or what you want to do with this situation. Because the King of Cups has his cup out. There's water everywhere and someone's, someone has deep feelings and emotions for someone and needs to make a decision, okay? Why is the high priestess the challenge for the sign of cancer? Yeah, see, but it's like, it looks like you already made up your mind, cancer, the seven of cups is in reverse. So there's no illusion to this. Like the choice has been made. You know who you love, you know what you want, you know, in this situation. So it looks like there was some type of third party for some of you guys. Or there was somebody that came in between you guys. The King of Cups is your energy. But that's in the upright. That's someone being very much in love with someone. Okay. And the High Priestess is here. And the challenge here with the High Priestess is the Seven of Cups. Because it's like this person wants you also. Or this is you knowing that you really want to be with this person, Cancer. And needing to take action towards this person. Needing to make a decision. So for some of you guys, you want to come out of a relationship and go into something new. Or for others of you... um, You guys could have broke up and they got with someone else. And you still miss them and want to be with them. Or they still miss you and want to be with you. Yeah, clarify this King of Cups, please, one time. The Will of Fortune. Yeah, someone wants a relationship with you. Someone wants to see this, you know, work out. Or someone wants a second chance at this with this Will of Fortune here. Okay? So, yeah, the Lover's card is about making a choice. Why is the world card here for cancer and what's on their mind? Why is the world card here for cancer? The ace of wands. Yeah, someone wants a new beginning. Someone wants to come out of an old cycle and start a new cycle. For some of you guys, this is new love coming in. Are you guys wanting new love with the same person? So wanting to start something over. Um, more fire energy. Okay, you guys could have been dealing with a fixed sign as well. Um, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius. But someone wants some new beginning and that's what's on your mind right now. Starting a new beginning with someone, someone that you love, someone that you are very passionate about. It could have been that Queen of Wands in reverse. Maybe you guys broke up. This is the Knight of Swords. You guys trying to rush in. Are you wanting that person to rush in? All right, this is communication coming in, though. Hmm. Yeah, this is fast communication coming in with that Knight of Swords. So someone's about to open up and tell you how they feel. Or someone's about to open up and, and speak you know, like very clear and tell someone how they feel about this person because someone's losing their patience. The Knight of Swords is impatient. So why is the Ace of Cups here in the recent past for Cancer? The Two of Wands reverse. Yep, see, there was no movement. There was a delay. So someone's really in love with someone has strong feelings for that person and there just hasn't been any moves. Like nothing's happening. There's been a delay and someone's tired of waiting. The Strength card could be a Leo, Okay. Um, does that have to be? That's Leo energy though. Um, the two of wands are reverses them also feeling like, damn, why did I end it with cancer? You know, like, why did I end this relationship? You know, wanting the relationship back now. So why is this two of wands are reverse? Someone's missing you. Someone's wanting the relationship back. Why is this two of wands are reverse? Six of swords are reverse. Yeah, someone wants to come back together. Could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone that you guys moved away from. Okay. So why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Cancer in the present position? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Cancer in the present position? Ace of Swords. You want some type of victory, okay? Ace of Swords is like some type of victory in this. 
So it's telling me that with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Swords, if you were to approach this situation, there would be some type of victory in this situation. Or if they were to approach you or if you guys were to talk and, you know, um, have some type of conversation, there could be a victory here. With that Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Swords, that's like you guys getting what you want in this situation. So definitely loving that. So let's see. Why is the Ace of Swords here with the Wheel of Fortune? Yeah, I see Temperance in Reverse could be a Sagittarius, though. I feel like for some of you guys, if this, and look, we have the Knight of Pentacles here, so it could be a Virgo. I feel like with the Temperance card in the past, with the Wheel of Fortune, you guys could have been dealing with a Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be a Sagittarius, though. Um, but with Temperance in Reverse, someone was re refusing to compromise. And that Ace of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune is like, you guys, you know, trying it out again. And things going right this time. The Ace of Swords, you guys talking things out, you know, and able to compromise now. Because you guys weren't able to compromise in the past. So let's see why justice is in the near future. Oh, cards are coming out everywhere. Let me see. Let me shuffle up. That was the five of cards that came out. And with justice, that would be like someone returning and, you know, you guys fixing a relationship. That would be you guys healing and balancing a relationship. So why is justice here for cancer in the future position? Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, so if there was a third party or some type of interference here, you guys are coming out of that situation. Are they coming out of that situation? Queen of Swords is the reverse. So ending something with someone, that Queen of Swords is the reverse. That Queen of Swords was a person who came in between you guys. So there's going to be justice. That means that that person is no longer in the middle of a relationship or no longer um, affecting the relationship moving forward. Why is this Queen of Swords here? Clarify the Queen of Swords reverse, please. Yep, see, we have the Empress. So this could have been someone that they were married to, someone that they had children with. For some of you guys, the Queen of Swords in reverse could have been you in the past. Like very emotional, mad, you know, very sharp with your words, having to let someone know how you feel. You could be married to this person or you guys have children with this person. But it looks like if you do, you're going to get justice in this situation now. Because they want to make things fair and balanced. He has a five of cups. This person is trying to come back. There's blood coming out of the cups because this person knows that like, they really caused a lot of hurt and damage to you. Okay. So, you're going to get justice in this situation, all right? So, take a how it resonates. Give me one card for this Empress, though, please. The Knight of Cups in reverse. And then we have the Page of Cups. So, this is the offer. You guys are accepting some offer. But I feel like in the past with the Knight of Cups in reverse, someone was, like, exaggerating their love for you or that's how you felt. Or it's like someone wasn't taking action. You know, something didn't seem real. Or if they came back, it didn't last long with that Knight of Cups. But now I see you guys getting justice in this and accepting the offer now. Okay? So why is the Tower here for Cancer and how they see themselves? But that Empress is in the upright, though. Sorry, Cancer. That Queen of Swords. So it's like the Queen of Swords in reverse. The Empress is in the upright. There's going to be justice in this situation regardless Um, I see for you, Cancer. Okay? Because we have the Emperor and the Empress both in the upright. Mother and Father... Um, so that means like either that's the father to your child or the mother to your child or that's just a relationship or a marriage and it's coming back together or that's just the relationship between you guys. Okay. So let's see commitment. Why is the tower here for cancer and where they see themselves or how they see themselves? The hangman in reverse. So the wait is over. There was some type of delay, but the hangman in reverse to me and how I'm seeing this is some type of delay. Um, but it's also someone that is like, um, this is someone that lacks effort, someone that's selfish, stubborn, you know, they make it all about them and with the tower and how you see yourself, cause this is how you see yourself, cancer. I feel like, um, with this energy, if there was a delay and there was a lack of effort, and it was on your part, now you're changing that, because you're releasing the old, yep, see, justice, you're bringing justice into the situation, too, pay the swords is also about communication, okay, so it's like, you guys are, because we have the pay the swords, not of swords, yeah, you guys are both communicating with each other, you guys both want to balance this out, you guys both want justice in this situation, so, for some of you guys, Cancer, it's like, you're reflecting back on how you were in the relationship, and if there was a lack of effort or if you were selfish and being stubborn, you're like, okay, well, let me come out of that energy to the tower is here. So it's like, you're no longer like the tower is like the separation between you guys. But I feel like that's just like you guys, I feel like that's the universe bringing in a tower moment so that you guys can get rid of all those old emotions and feelings and negative emotions and feelings, you know, cause I feel like there was a lack here. Like you weren't making effort. They weren't making effort. 
But now justice is here twice. So it's like you guys want the same thing, okay? So why is the Page of Pentacles here for Cancer and in their environment? Why is the Page of Pentacles in Cancer's environment? The Eight of Swords. And this is what's on your mind. You're stressed out about it. So it's like you want this offer or you want to make an offer. It looks like you want to make an offer to someone, Cancer. And you're stressed out about it. Oops, sorry. Sorry, Cancer. I was about to spill a drink. Um, Yeah, you want to make an offer to someone. You're stressed out about it, though. All right, let's see why this Eight of Swords is here. Why is this Eight of Swords here for Cancer? Three of Cups. Yes, yeah, so you want a reunion. You want to come back together with this person. But you feel like it's not going to happen and you want to make an offer to them. Yep, see, look, we have the Tower again. See, so this, the old... The old way of thinking, the old way of looking at this relationship, the old way of feeling about this relationship, all that has to change if you want this, if you want newness with this person. Because it looks like it can happen. We have the Wheel of Fortune twice in the upright, justice twice in the upright. So we have the tower twice in the upright. You know, so it looks like both of you guys are trying to put an ending to the past. Both of you, you guys are mirroring each other. So why is the Seven of Cups here for the sign of Cancer and their hopes and fears? Why is the Seven of Cups here for Cancer? Four of Pentacles. See, you guys are holding on to something old that needs to be let go of. The Seven of Cups is like fantasy, wishful thinking, confusion though. But I feel like this is confusion. The Four of Pentacles is you holding on to that. So needing to not hold on to the confusion. It's like you guys are thinking the worst. It's like you it's like you want to bring it together, but it's like you're thinking the worst because you're in some type of daydream. You know, like you're like, mm, I hope this is going to happen. I wish this can happen because you're just still holding on to something that you don't need to hold on to. Why is this here? Yeah, see, the fool in reverse. For, for some of you, you feel like they're thinking about someone else or it's because they're with someone else, you know, or the fool in reverse is like you just needing to take a risk and go after it, go after it if it's something you want. This is the fool energy. It could be an Aries, okay? Let's see why the emperor is the potential outcome for cancer. Or for some of you guys with this hopes and fears, you're thinking that this person is stuck in their ways and not changing in the seven of cups maybe they're holding on to things maybe still being a player thinking about other people dealing with other people okay so why is this emperor here for cancer and the potential outcome why is the emperor here the eight of cups reverse so someone wants to return again someone feels like they made a mistake and they want to come back into your life could be an aries could be another water sign someone wants to come back into your life okay for some of you you guys might find out someone's pregnant okay because we have the emperor and the empress um, let me see. And I'm just feeling that. The Five of Cups. Yeah, see someone that ended it wants to come back into your life. Could be another water sign. All right? And there could have been some mind games, some lies, deception in the past. With that Five of Swords there. You know, they could have, you know, been lying. But the Six of Pentacles, they want to balance this out now. They want to, um, they want to balance things out with you. This person is, um, willing to give and receive now. So, like, not receive. I, sorry, Cancer, this person... In the past, you were the one giving and they were receiving or the other way around. Take it how it resonates. But either way it goes, they want to balance things out with you. They want to work things out with you. Justice is here twice. So there will be an equal give and take in this situation. All right? So let's do your romance angels. All right, let's see. Spirit of Universe messages for the sign of cancer. January 1st to the 15th. True love and chemistry. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have worth waiting for. So something's worth waiting for in this situation. All right, Cancer. So we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And we have the eight of cups. So someone walked away and realized that this really is true love. In this deck, all eight cups are filled. So someone did walk away from you. Yes, are you walked away from someone? But the love is still there with these eight cups filled. And we see that. Because we have the Eight of Cups in reverse, this person is coming back, okay? So someone walked away and is coming back, and they realize that this is true love, and they want to be with you, all right? Um, or this is you, Cancer, realizing that. So we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And with that, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like this person, is it's more than just the chemistry you guys have. This person actually looks at you as the person of their dreams, the person they want to marry, the person that they want to have children with. You know, they love everything about you. You're very home, you know, home-oriented, um, loving, nurturing, caring, balanced, grounded, stable, you know. And they want this to be more than just chemistry. They want marriage. Yeah, see, they're going to offer you something. This is them offering love. Maybe even offering commitment or something long-term. Okay, like I said, some of you guys have a child by that person. Okay? 
So let's pull your spirit message, Cancer, and then that will be your reading. All right, message for the sign of Cancer, January 1st to the 15th. All right, Cancer. Messages, well, a message for the sign of Cancer. Let's see what we got. Prosperity, freedom came out. All right, Cancer. So let's see what that's all about. All right, Cancer, I'm going to hold the card up as I read. So we have prosperity, freedom. You soon free yourself from the financial concerns that have troubled you of late. A steady stream of abundance flows into your life, and this has a positive effect on many levels. Your love, wealth, creativity, and healing all increase and grow stronger. But in order to keep the flow of abundance, there must be gratitude. Do not take things for granted. Be grateful. Love, share, and put your abundance to good use. Know that you truly deserve all the blessings that come to you each day. You deserve to be happy. And know that at the core of your being, there exists a pure golden essence, which gives you an infinite capability to create and draw abundance into your life. Remember always to look within. Go beyond the superficial personality and connect with the true essence of everyone and everything around you. Know also that money is simply energy, and energy must always flow. Stagnant energy creates blockages, so keep giving and receiving. We just talked about that with the Six of Pentacles. So the affirmations for this card says, My love, wealth, and, and creativity grow stronger each day. I give and receive willingly and, free, and freely. I am grateful for all the abundance in my life. I am blessed. All right? So that is what I have for you, Cancer. I love you guys. I love you, Cancer. If you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, you guys can do so on my website, fireintuition.com. All right? Bye, Cancer.